April, it is now April, which means we get another video update from Aptera. This month's progress update recaps a recent visit to France, details an upcoming trip to the United Arab Emirates, and talks about the status of Aptera's first production intense solar EV bills. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this briefing, please kindly like and subscribe to this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded on this channel. Thank you. Let's get going. Actora Motors is a veteran solar EV startup that perpetually remains on electric's radar for two reasons. First, it's the only viable contender left working towards scaled solar EV production, potentially paving the way for a new form of electric mobility that takes sustainability to a whole new echelon. Secondly, Actora remains newsworthy in its quest because it prides itself on offering a refreshing level of public transparency, posting monthly video updates usually led by at least one, if not both, of the startup's co-founders and co-CEOs, Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony. Actora's February update video included a peek at its upcoming solar EV app, as well as a glimpse at the upcoming vehicle's battery packs that supply partner CTNS will manufacture in South Korea. That video followed a separate post from Actora offering a look at the forthcoming build process of its production intense solar EVs. The production body will enable Actora's electrical engineers to finalize cable routing and component placement, a vital precursor to building drivable production intense solar EVs. Next, Anthony recaps Actora's recent visit to GEC World 2024 in Paris, where its body and carbon, bin C, was displayed. From the conference, Entity General Manager Marco Cicelli walks you through the binge build and explains the work that went into the molds that helped bring the current iteration of the Actora Solar EV to life. This is an exciting process we recommend you check out below. It's time for the juicy stuff, the production updates. Anthony says Actora is building PI2, its first solar EV operating with a production intent drivetrain, frame, safety structure, and suspension. Let's at this level get to make some reflections on what APTRA could do to keep the public more informed, handle delays in production, and get answers to many worries facing its customers who are eager to drive an Aptera or own one sooner than later. What be going on with APTRA amidst delayed production of its solar EVs? Let's attempt an answer. While many people on the political right think internal combustion is going to be the norm forever, it's becoming harder and harder to maintain that position. The talking points have to change every year because they keep being disproven, so many anti-EV trolls have simply resorted to lying their butts off or sticking to outdated information. But if your whole economy hinges on oil, you can't afford that level of lying and self-delusion. So we're seeing countries in Southwest Asia rethink their position. Oil will obviously continue to be important for transportation globally for decades, and will continue to be important for non-transportation applications such as plastics for decades more. Despite that, a big drop in demand is coming as EV technology improves and money in places like Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates UAE, has to be spent wisely to guarantee the future for those places. That's why we're seeing more and more of that oil money getting invested in alternatives to oil. Probably the most well-known example in recent years is the ownership of Lucid Motors, but there are many, many other examples out there, so when Actora suddenly announced that the company's doing special versions of the car for investors in the UAE, that got my attention. However, instead of taking a side on whether this is going to save or hurt them, I want to explore different possible things that could be going on behind the scenes here. It's no secret that Actora has been seeking funding for production for years. Worse, the lack of transparency on what the company needs for production and the amount of money they've collected from people promised a car leads many people to assume that the company isn't going to make it in the long run. However, gouging what's really going on there is tough because the company won't answer the question clearly or at all, which doesn't inspire confidence. What we do know from statements since 202 is that Aptor has been trying to find large institutional investors to fund production. That much has been said over and over. So the optimistic scenario is that the company finally found the investor or investors it was looking for. But to get that investment and start production, the investors wanted their own version of the accelerator program to produce some special UAE cars. Of course, the downside to this could be that the company gets controlled by a country that frequently ranks on the bottom of human rights indexes. This could bring some bad press, of course, but it could also affect the culture of the company and its treatment of people if not managed carefully. Another good scenario could be that the company has some serious investors that they're trying to impress with this move. This would be a lot less of a sure thing than a deal that's complete. But if there are some serious people wanting to fund production and this is just the icing on the cake, this could be a good thing. There is some risk to this though. 
If a company commits to production in the UAE and then doesn't get the money together, this could turn some people off permanently when production doesn't happen. It's also possible that Actora doesn't have super serious big investors who will fund production and that this is a Hail Mary pass of some kind meant to pull in investors. The higher amount needed to secure a special UAE vehicle does make a difference, but at the same time it's not a lot when we used to see numbers like $50 million thrown around. If the company runs yet another accelerator program and still tells people that Aptera is short on money needed for production, it would look bad. Really bad. Aptera could solve this issue quickly. If this article seems like a bunch of wild speculation to you, then you're right. We have so little to go on and have gone on so little for years that all we can do about things like this is speculate. This leaves room for some people to be highly optimistic, but it also leaves room for some people to be downright hateful of the company and everything in between. When there's a vacuum of information, people can put whatever they want into that void and make any argument they want, rather than be highly optimistic like I've been in the past or be highly pessimistic. About the company like some of my fellow writers here, I'd rather just invite Actora to be more transparent and let us know what the situation really is for production. We've been hearing for years that the company just needs that special investor to come along and then production is going to happen. Since then, we've seen money come from the Accelerator program, government grants, and other sources, but then got no updates on how that affects the production situation. Some transparency on this and other things would go a long way toward helping people feel better about Actora. I hope we get answers soon. My biggest fear for Actora is that the company reaches this shit or get off the pot moment again and ends up having to get off the pot. I don't pretend to know when that happens because it will depend on the sentiments of a lot of people. People with pre-orders, small investors, big investors, and the EV community in general all need to be happy with the company if it's going to work out. While I've definitely seen people turn sour on the company who weren't already sour on it, I don't know how many people have done that or how many more would have to go negative for the tipping point to be reached. I personally love want to drive an Actora, so I hope that the company gives either an announcement or more information about where it stands soon to keep their customer and fan base vibrant. We love APKRA, hope you sure do as well. That's all we have for the time being. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel as your motivation for the content uploaded on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.